Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to do some sampling for you. This was requested by Ginny. Thank you so much. She just said, oh, we need some more gourmand sampling videos. And I was like, yes, that's true. Anyway, so I have three fragrances here, three gourmand perfumes. I tried this one, Love and Crime by Ex Idolo, just one time. Uh, Leisure in Paradise by Simone Andrioli. This one I tested for, oh, I've had this a long time, so I've tested like half the sample. And then this one here I have not tested at all. So this is called um, Aman Tonka by Ellie Saab. I think it's from their private collection. So let's begin first with uh, The Love and Crime by X E Dolo. I've heard about this perfume from... Um, Eve Spider Smells, I believe it was, and I also heard someone talk about it on um, Instagram, so I was really curious about it. Um, they said it smelled like cookies or something like that, and I was like, yes, I really love cookie gourmands. So I thought I would give it a shot. So it does kind of smell cookie-like, almost like cookies or cupcakes or something like that. But when I first tried this, and I've only tried it one time, I was like reminded right away of a few other perfumes that I already own. So yeah, this perfume, Love and Crime by Ex Idolo, definitely belongs in the same family of perfumes um, that I'll tell you guys about right now. So this reminds me of Lyra by Casamarati Zerjoff. But, well, these are not, they're just in the same family. They're not the same, you guys, but similar. Lyra has this beautiful, like, orange peel or orange, orangey note in it, along with, like, cinnamon and vanilla. And it's very, like, bakery-like, and it's very foody, and it's delicious. The Love and Crime, I still get those, like, really nice, like, cinnamon or nutmeg notes with vanilla. But on my skin, it smells more lemony. So it's more like a lemon cookie. Whereas Lyra is like a orangey Christmas cookie type thing, like a sugar cookie or a cupcake. And it's really, really nice. So in this family of perfumes, there's also um, a discontinued perfume that smells quite similar to it too. This is from L'Occitane or L'Occitan. And uh, this is called Meal and Citron, Honey and Lemon. So it's kind of similar too, but the honey and lemon to me isn't as spicy. It's more smooth. It just feels more buttery where the love and crime smells very uh, like spicy vanilla cookie. This one is like smooth, buttery honey cookie. It's so, so good. It's a, it's a shame that they discontinued this, but this is like such a beautiful, gorgeous gourmand perfume. Another one this reminds me of, I only have a decant here. Well, I have a whole bunch of minis of this. This is a Lolita Lempica L, which is also discontinued. Um, this one here is one of my absolute favorites. <laughs> I've talked about this perfume. It's like one of my most complimented, even though like, you know, it's not that many compliments, but you know, out of my collection, this is one that I got the most on. And this one to me is like cinnamon vanilla, but there's also this beautiful musk kind of thing going, like blanketing all of it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's starting to become a comparison video. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys, but now I'm talking about them. But yeah, Love and Crime is a nice perfume, but I think for me, it would overlap in my collection where it just smells quite similar to other things that I, that I already own, but they're absolutely beautiful. So if you're like in the market for a lemony, cinnamony, spicy, maybe even ginger, snap cookie i think you guys get the idea if you've tried any of these other perfumes then you might get an idea of what this smells like so yeah if you're in for the market for that then uh, definitely try that love and crime so i'm just gonna pull up the notes really quickly here okay so this one has at the top pink pepper red mandarin 
heart is classic feminine florals, baking sugar, and star anise. And the base, natural cocoa vanilla sponge cake. I mean, <laughs> it sounds delicious. It, it is a very delicious perfume. Um, on my skin, it smells quite like a more lemony than orangey. But yeah, if you liked any of those other perfumes, then you probably like this one because they're in the same group, I would say. Moving on, we have a perfume from Simone Andrioli, and it's called Leisure in Paradise. So I was interested in this perfume because I read somewhere, and I can't remember where I read it. I read that it smells like pina colada. And I think I've mentioned in the past, well, recently, that I'm in the market for like the perfect pina colada scent. It's a really nice perfume. <laughs> I get like this edible vanilla scent. I do get the pineapple too, but the pineapple isn't very strong. I've tried this one a few times on my skin already as well. It's more like um, vanilla coconut heavy rather than pineapple. And with pina colada, I would like, I'm kind of looking for um, a pina colada scent where the pineapple is like the star of the show and it's really juicy and ripe and it's making my mouth water. That's what I'm looking for. This one smells fantastic, you guys, but the van vanilla to me is at the forefront. And so I feel like I have a lot of vanilla perfumes already and it's just falling short just a little bit from, you know, the pina colada cocktail perfume that I am dreaming about, that I'm looking for, that I'm searching for for quite a while. But it's nice. And you know what? It's very creamy. The vanilla and the coconut in here is very, very creamy. And... <laughs> I have to say, you guys, it also reminded me of another perfume that I own. And I didn't grab it, but I'm going to grab it. Just hang on one sec. Okay, so I'm back. So the creamy vanilla coconut thing here reminds me of this Ariana Grande cloud. <laughs> so it's very soft, it's edible, it's delicious. Except the Leisure in Paradise, it has... It definitely has like that pineapple note in there, but it's just in the background. I wish, I wish it was, you know, the main thing, because then I would probably buy this perfume. But especially in the dry down, it starts really smelling like Ariana Grande Cloud, which is a perfume that I really enjoy, but I don't wear it as much as, I don't reach for it as much as I'd like to. But because there's always that 540 that I always grab before this one, but this is a nice one too. Um, but it kind of gets overshadowed, I think, by the 540 where, you know, if I had to choose between the two, which would I grab for? And I'm always, always grabbing for the, um, the 540. Anyways, Leisure in Paradise. If you're looking for a, a pina colada scent, maybe you should give this a try. Maybe on your skin, the pineapple is like intense and then you'd be like yay i found my holy grail pina colada for me it's a beautiful fragrance but it's just not exactly what i'm looking for it's just not there but it's nice like i mean there's nothing wrong with it i really like it but again it overlaps with ariana grande cloud which is cheaper <laughs> and i still really like the cloud all right, so the last one here is a scent from Ellie Saab. This is from their private collection, number 10, Amand and Tonka. So it's still in the, it's still wrapped, oh, taped up here from when I ordered it off eBay or Dutch eBay. So this was recommended by one of you guys. I apologize. I can't remember who it was. It was such a long time ago, but. Every time you guys recommend something to me, I always like remember that, you know, in my mind that I should try it someday. So let's give this a try. Hmm. It 
it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Amand Tonka. It's really subtle. I'm getting like this, the powdery, I'm getting a powdery sweetness. That's probably coming from the Tonka bean. It's not super sweet at all though. It's quite subdued with the sweetness. And like, yeah, there is a nuttiness in here. But it's not as almondy as I was assuming it would be. <laughs> um, what else here? I'm getting something, um, like maybe there's like a touch of leather in here. Just a very small touch of it. And I didn't check the notes in here, so I have no idea what's in here. It's not even really that gourmandy. I thought it would be just assuming from the name. A soft, subtle, slightly sweet, a little bit of leather, maybe a little bit of woods here too. And like a nuttiness too. It's quite warm and cozy. Like it's super hot today. That's why I wasn't filming outside today because it's just too hot. <laughs> I don't feel like getting sweaty and stuff. Because when you guys see those videos when I'm outside, I'm like really gross. I've been biking for how long? Really sweaty and oily and gross. <laughs> I just wasn't in the mood today. But yeah, Amand Tonka. Mm, it's okay. I thought it would be sweeter, but it's not. So I'm going to see what's what the notes are in this one. Um, just to read it out to you guys. I think this is the first one that I've tried from the Ellie Saab line, uh, their exclusive collection. Sorry, uh, Amand Tonka Essence Number no. Ten. So the notes, there's not that many. There's tonka bean, almond, sandalwood, and amyris. Mm. Yeah, this is just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really like, it's just my first sniff, right? It smells all right, but I'm not really in the mood for something warm right now because it's so warm already. This one I'll have to try on my skin and test it more properly. I just wanted to give you guys like a first sniff. But anyways, that was my video for today. Three, I guess, gourmand perfumes. Well, the first two were for sure gourmands. This one wasn't as gourmandy as I thought it would be. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have tried any of this, these perfumes, I would love to hear it, uh, what you think about them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.